Hey everybody. So back in the winter I got an email from Gear Lab asking if I wanted to test out one of their new paddle models. And just a little bit ago, I got it. And that's not even touched the water yet. So this new carbon paddle is supposed to be the lightest and thinnest paddle they've made yet. Let's take a look at it. This is the new Kylek Carbon Fiber Greenland Paddle. So on first inspection of this paddle, the first thing I notice is this thing is crazy thin. I mean, yeah, you can see, <laughs> see just how thin this thing is. Feels pretty good in the hand. Really sharp down on the ends. <laughs> That's, I'm, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. This thing is so sharp. Probably the, one of the sharpest Greenland paddles I've ever seen. Carbon or wood or anything, this is unbelievably sharp, especially at the tip. And at the end of the blade, we have the same style of removable, replaceable tip. Um, this time though, the shape is much different. It's a very, it's a blunt style on it. A little bit different from what we usually see. If I compare it to the paddle that I took with me to Greenland last year, you can really see the difference in the end of the blade shape here. Uh, but what's interesting to me is, even just within this last year, these blades have gotten crazy thin now. Now looking at this paddle, they've uh, done a really subtle thing with the logo this time, so it just barely stands out in contrast with the back background weave. And even the weave pattern has changed. It's, it's uh, pretty cool looking, really. So this paddle I got is a 225, so it's a little shorter than what I would usually use for touring, but um, I will be using this for surfing, I will be using this for playing around and um, teaching with. So a little bit shorter paddle for me, I know works really well. That's a big thing with traditional paddles in general is that the sizing you know, should be really fit to your body as close as possible. So luckily we've got a couple different lengths and uh, I've seen it with carbon paddles and wood paddles of course as well that some people really like one shape and some people really like another even if they're very subtly different. Um, holds a lot of volume out toward the tip and then tapers down. Uh, previous blades have had a much more continual um, narrowing. So, so just by looking at that, how we're holding more volume further out here at the end of the blade, I'm guessing this paddle will uh, be a little more powerful uh, on acceleration. So now the only thing left to do is to get this thing out in the water and see how it feels. Nice. The thing I'm really excited to test this out with is um, really a really fast forward stroke and some maneuvering. And then also the thing that uh, carbon fiber blades especially really excel at are sculling rolls. So when these blades are so thin, whenever you transition angle to do a skull, the blade just catches and moves a lot of water, but if the blade's um, like most wooden paddles, if it's more round, has a lot more volume, the paddle's a lot slower to move through the water and sculling rolls can be a lot more difficult. So with it being this sharp, it should be a really good paddle for sculling, a lot of power moving through the water in fast transitions. The link for the Gear Lab website is in the description below. If you have any questions about how this paddle feels in the water, drop me a line in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Safe paddling.